Hello everyone. Uh, we uh, wrapped up the the digital version of the banquet last night, so wanted to hear from our athletes of the year. Um, so we're gonna talk with Nicole. We're gonna talk with Fatty. Uh, just kind of get their reaction and uh, see what they have to say. Uh, see what their thoughts were. Obviously, both had uh, fantastic seasons. Um, so in a second, we're gonna be joined by Nicole, and then. Uh, probably 7.45, uh, we'll be joined by Fatty. Um, so just going to wait until Nicole uh, joins us here, and then uh, we'll chat with her. Um, uh, but obviously a pretty fantastic year for the Ridgebacks. Um, constantly growing. Um, <clears throat> was exciting to host uh, lacrosse uh, at home on Vassos Field this year. Um, yeah, and we, uh, Hello. we have OUA Offensive MVP, uh, Nicole Martindale. Uh, how are you doing, Hi. Nicole? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, so athlete of the year, um, we didn't get to see your reaction. So, uh, just what was your reaction when, when you found that out? Um, I was extremely happy about it. Um, I was super excited. I was it was bittersweet in the fact that I really wanted, I'd never been to one of the banquets before. Um, and a lot of the girls on my team were really excited about it before everything had happened. So I was really excited to just go and experience that. But um, I was still excited and honored that I was able to be announced the athlete of the year. And it was still amazing that there was still so many people that were looking at that and kind of congratulating me along the way, yeah. Cool. Um, uh, to answer Rav's question, I am wearing pants actually, uh, <laughs> and I did not shave. Um, but so Nicole, uh, obviously final four finish. Um, I think one of the big moments for us this year was you guys won that quarter final. That's always like you, you have to win it. Um, and there was a lot yes. of emotions. So, um, it was your first year with the team, but uh, like kind of what was, what was your season like and what was that, that whole weekend like for you guys? Um, we were super excited that we were able to host it for sure. That was something we talked about as a team from our coaching staff to us from the very beginning of the year. Um, we talked about how amazing it is going to be that we're going to have home field advantage. Um, so I think going into the, um, tournament, we were super excited already to begin with. Um, we started off really strong and then, yeah, that quarterfinal game, was super exciting and um i think especially down to the wire it got really close there and everyone was really nervous but if you watch like videos of our sidelines and everything they were cheering on the entire time and everyone was super excited and then when the final buzzer went everyone just rushed onto the field and it was amazing i think um the team was just happy that we had so many family members that were able to come and um, schoolmates that were able to come watch, which we wouldn't have had um, anywhere else. So it was really, really exciting. Yeah, I guess uh, like uh, you scored a lot of goals for us this year. Um, <laughs> that might be the understatement of the night, but um, just uh, you came in um, like you were visibly a, a leader in the huddles. Um, obviously, like there's lots of different pieces to a team, but um, how did you kind of see how you, you fit in uh, with the squad this year? Um, I liked what I thought I was most going to be helpful with is just bringing some kind of experience to the team. Um, I know a lot of the girls hadn't been playing for a super long amount of time, especially not as long as like I have. And then coming from um, the States, um, I was a little nervous coming in at first, which may sound a little hard to believe, but... Um, I did have like a serious injury before, so I was kind of nervous to see how I would actually perform. Um, but like the coaching staff was amazing and the girls were so welcoming, like girls that were coming back and then the freshmen were just um, great girls and very talented as well. So they made it so much easier to come play. But um, yeah, I definitely wanted to be a leader, especially I'm not normally the loudest person um, but, um, I definitely wanted to show by example and kind of bring my experience and what I learned in the States back here. And I think, um, that really helped a lot of the girls as well. 
Okay. Um, I saw a question come in. Like, was there a defining moment uh, in like in the championship for you guys? Um, like, I'm not a lacrosse guy. I don't understand <laughs> all the things. Like, obviously, yeah. when a team gets a lead at the end, they can kind of hold the ball. Uh, they they make it hard for you to score. Um, like, yeah. was there a defining moment that weekend? Like in a game where, um, like in the Laurier game where you guys knew you had the win. Um, you know, against uh, Trent, anything like that that really stood out? Um, I think what really stood out to me it was in our final game against Western. Um, it was so touch and go there. I just felt like we could never fully get those extra two points, which was can be frustrating. But um, when they were holding the ball at the end of the game, like you mentioned, a lot of teams do do that. Um, it's easy to easier to do that. Yeah. Um, but our like our girls didn't give up. The entire time we kept pushing until um until the final buzzer and i think that's um shows just the character of girls that we had on the team it's easy to kind of be like okay there's only a couple minutes left like they can hold it the game's over but um we definitely didn't do that and we thought we could win all the way to the end and seeing the girls push all the way to the end was um was really great and a really good way to finish all right. Um, and then you're, you've been at Ontario Tech studying, I guess. But uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, what was, like, what's, what's it been like for you? Like, what's it like being a Ridgeback? Um, it's nice. It was a lot different um, coming back here, coming back to Canada. Um, but I did really enjoy both the athletics part of everything and the schooling here. Um I did, especially the athletics, like coming in, every, everyone was so welcoming, um, especially with the online presence that you guys have through the Instagram and everything. Everyone um, was very welcoming and excited anytime we had something going on. Um, I really liked that. I felt like in Denver, we didn't really have that. And women's yeah. lacrosse isn't the most exciting sport at times for people that don't understand it to yep. watch. Um, but I felt like here, um, you guys were really pushing to get us noticed and promoting like us hosting and getting us to take over different things. So I feel like um, you really, like the athletic department was really great in kind of helping expand what women's across is, which I thought was really amazing. Yeah, I think uh, I saw a comment in there, you coach Lady Blue Knights. Is that, I do, is yeah, that true? I coach the um, under-19 team, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, like, what what's it like? Like it, like you said, like, you kind of came in, you had some experience, but now you're coaching that team as well. So yeah. uh, I know, like, Leanne has her systems with you guys. She she does her mm -hmm. thing. But what's it like when you're not playing and you're doing the other, the other side of it? Um, it is a different shift. Um, what is funny is Leanne actually coached me when I was a Lady Blue Knight myself back in um, under 15 when I was very, very young. I think I was only around 13 at the time. Okay. Um, but it is definitely different. Um, I do really enjoy it, though. Like, I really like just staying involved in lacrosse. I've always loved the game of lacrosse since I was little. So being, being able to continue to stay involved. Um, but, yeah, I definitely do use some of the aspects that we have in our practices into the practices that we run with Blue Knights. Um, uh, it's funny, I actually played against some of the girls this year that I coached last summer, which I thought never would happen, but yep. that was um, that was definitely interesting and fun at times. Um, but yeah, it's they're great girls, and a lot of them do get opportunities for the States, but we're continuing to try to get some of them to come be Ridgebacks. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, uh, <clears throat> like, the, we couldn't do this in person, mm -hmm. um, so we've been at home for a while. Um, so, if we were to open up your Netflix right now and recently watched by Nicole, like, what's the show you're, you're binge watching right now? Ooh. Um, I just finished watching Community. Okay, I respect for like that. Yeah. The second time, I think I went through it, but it finally was on Netflix, so I went through and watched that. And then, um, I don't know. I've been really into the Disney Plus lately, so <laughs> all right, <laughs> getting back to my childhood days. <laughs> okay, uh, and then like, what have you been doing like to keep busy? Like, um, like, like I know some people have been baking. I know yeast is on a shortage. Like, what, like, yeah. what are you doing to to fill your time during the day? Um. 
Um, I do right now. Um, I was really busy with the school stuff, just trying to finish all that stuff off. But um, right now I have been doing some baking, uh, working out. Um, luckily, we have the Brooklyn High School right by where I live. So I've been going to the track there. And then I work for the beer store. So I'm actually still working, okay. which can be kind of nice because it gets me out of the house and away from all the family that's home. Gives me a little break. But um but yeah, just trying to keep busy anyway. Really, it's work has been the main thing, just because um, we are technically an essential business. But uh, but yeah, trying to stay fit while eating all my baking stuff. <laughs> yeah, like what what like I know like my big thing has been uh, chips. Like, is yeah. there something <laughs> is there something you just like are chowing down on constantly, or like there's something where like you're like take this away. Like, yeah, I, or else I'm gonna my finish brother it. I've been on a little bit of a. He always buys just regular popcorn kernels, so like every night without fail, he's like, "Do you want popcorn?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, please, yeah." So we always try to make like homemade popcorn, but I should probably really stop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, I see Hunter the Ridgebacks commenting. So the other thing I'm noticing a lot of is like everybody's walking their dog. Everybody's doing that. So do you have a dog? Like. Have you been doing that or no pets? Um, I do have a dog. Um, it was actually, we celebrated his eighth birthday a few days ago. Got him some vanilla cupcakes. So he loved that. But yeah, um, I wish I could take him to the track with me. But he's one of those dogs that can't just run casually beside you. He needs to play with you while you run. <laughs> so unfortunately can't do that. But um, yeah, my, me and my parents love taking him to the park. Um, he's been getting spoiled lately, so he'll we take him out for plenty of walks during the day, and then he's uh, sleeping for quite a while. That's good. So, what's his? Did we get his name? I, I, did I miss that? Um, no, his name's Jackson. Jackson. All right. Yeah, yeah. He's a a German Shepherd Collie mix. So he's a he's a little cutie. All right. Well, that's pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> Nicole, I, I appreciate you doing this. I, I don't have too much else to ask you. Like, uh, I guess maybe is there anything uh, you want to wrap up with or any other final thoughts uh, on your year uh, with Ontario Tech? Um, yeah, it was just, it was a really great experience. I, especially with my injury, I didn't think I was going to be able to come back and play lacrosse at a competitive level. And I'm so extremely thankful that um, you guys were willing to give me a chance to come play and kind of push me into playing. And I'm really, really thankful for that because it was a wonderful experience and definitely a great way to finish my, maybe finish my uh, <laughs> playing career. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I, I'm glad you addressed that and I didn't have to say maybe we'll see in the fall. Yeah. Uh, um, but no, obviously, uh, I think you've been a great ambassador for the Ridgebacks this season. Um, so Thank obviously you. stay safe. Uh, but congratulations again. Obviously a huge Thank honor. So we much. wish you could celebrate in person, but yeah. um, I'm glad you could join us tonight. Yeah, no, thank you definitely for having me. This has been great. <laughs> All right, thanks, Nicole. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right, so we have Fatty... Uh, Fatty Salback, uh, he should be on here. Uh, so hopefully I'll get Fatty to uh, join us. Um, obviously, again, thanks to Nicole um, for for coming on, having a fantastic season. Um, I'm seeing I'm getting asked if I have a dog and if not, why? Um, <clears throat> I know the person knows the answer to this question. Um, I do not have a dog at this time. Um, but that's something uh, I'll be addressing uh, in the future for sure. So we're going to add Fatty Selbeck. I actually saw a request from, uh, as I was hitting add for Fatty, uh, I saw a request for uh, uh, President uh, Dr. Steve, Stephen Murphy. Uh, maybe we'll get him on right after Fatty. Um, but Fatty, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, so congratulations, obviously, uh, last night's news, uh, Athlete of the Year. Um, just tell us what your reaction was. Um, it was it was pretty exciting because uh, I know how much my accomplishments mean to to my family, my dad and, and my uncle as well, who, who were with me throughout the whole season. So it was, I, was, I was happy for them more than me, to be honest. Okay, so uh, like at home... 
uh, like five o'clock, like were you sitting there refreshing, like you knew you were a nominee from the afternoon, um, or were you just kind of like trying not to look at it and see if somebody texted you? Like, what was your what was your approach? Well, I'll work out, and I was I was actually in the shower showering, and then I'm like, oh, it's five o'clock, and then I I I went out, and then I saw notifications, and I'm like, yes, but then yeah. Yeah, I realized. That's great. Um, so I want to clarify, uh, you're not uh, uh, Instagram videoing and driving, are you? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to go get some shawarma. I'm, I'm not driving right now. Okay, I'm, perfect. I'm, All right. Park, uh, yeah, safety first, safety first. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, we yeah. want to talk, but uh, um, so Fatty, obviously a fantastic year. You're the first player, uh, men's player to be named OUA Rookie of the Year. First men's player to win the scoring title, both provincially and nationally. So like... I, I know you credit your teammates a lot. Um, just what what was how did you do that in your rookie year? Well, I always love to score goals, and it just with strikers a lot of the time it's either you score or you don't. It's just either you have a peak season or it's it's kind of okay. We have dry dry spots and and good spots, but it just it just went for me. I was at the right uh, place at the right time. The the service was obviously amazing, and I finished my chances this year. So that's that's how it goes when you strike. Really, you don't you don't really plan for that. You just got to stay patient, and when it happens, it happens. Uh, question coming in from Hunter. I don't know if you can see it there, Fatty. Your favorite professional team? What you what do you have? Juventus. Juventus. All right. Yeah. Okay. Long time I don't know what Before, Hunter's opinion of that is, but we'll find out. Before they became big. Back, back in 06. Back I like 06. that. Yeah. Um, so, like you said, like, uh, obviously uh, a big Thank year you. for you. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks um, and the program, again, the playoff, uh, went to the playoffs. Uh, obviously, Carlton, tough game. Um, but where do you kind of see the team going in the future? Uh, like, a lot of new faces this year, and I think you guys have a bright future. I think we can we can go... I say that without a doubt in my heart because one thing we we lack this year maybe is is just a bit more discipline, just a just a tiny bit of of concentration and 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 confidence because it for a lot of like we're we're a young young group compared to all the other teams in the OUA. At the end, I think it came down to just a bit more composure. Okay. Um, so I noticed you're, you're not wasting any time on the whole training. Um, you sent us some pretty, uh, hardcore videos. Like I get tired just watching them. Um, <laughs> just what are you doing to stay fit? Uh, so you can come back, uh, just as good, if not better. I'm, I'm doing everything that's required. I do all my fitness every day. I do my fitness, uh, in the mornings. I, I usually go for a run in the afternoon. I, I, I play soccer, do do ball ball training and then at night usually I, I i do a little circuit at home body weight all that stuff so i try to work out around three times a day okay uh, and i noticed you were training with your dad uh uh so like is he always done that with you or is or is, or is it just because like we can't interact with other people at this time or tell us no. tell us about that from from a young age my dad has always trained me. Even 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 after my practice, he would take me and we do our own practice. He his favorite thing for me to do is running up and down hills. He doesn't even let me touch a ball. That that clip I sent you was a special clip. It's just usually with him is just running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I and I always I always ask him, I'm like, Dad, tell me how many sets. And he's like, No, I'm not gonna tell you how many sets. When I say enough is enough. I, I hate it, but it's I like it's it. What I do. So there's a story with your dad this year, uh, and I see Fatty's dad as the real MVP come up on uh, on the comments. So there was a goal scored, I believe on the road. It was Ryerson or Toronto. I think it was Ryerson. Ryerson Tell us Ryerson. about that. It was, it was in the it was in the 90th minute, and originally we were losing three one, and then I uh, I made it three two, and then in the 90th minute I passed to to Campoli. And he he sl he basically slotted it away. It was an amazing finish. And then the whole team ran to the to the corner flag. And then out of nowhere, my dad comes, 
and we're all in this big group and my dad comes and starts hugging Cam Foley and kisses him and jumping and screaming. There's there's a video that I have of that. I got to send it to you. I love it. I think it's great. Um, so obviously we're at home, you're training, but uh, like I asked Nicole, like Netflix, Disney Plus, whatever, like if we pulled it up right now, what's like the most recently watched by Fatty? Gossip Girl. All I watch is Gossip Girl. Really? Yeah. All right. It's my favorite show. I like it. I know that some people have been watching that like Hot or Not or whatever that Netflix uh, reality show is. I'm not sure about it, but uh, I'm glad you did not no, say no. that. No, no. Just I'm a Gossip Girl fan. I've watched that seven times. All right. I like it. Yeah. A lot of I, – I expected maybe like The Office. I got that kind of vibe from you, but uh, – I've, I've watched The Office. I've watched The Office. It's funny. It's pretty funny, but I'm also a romance guy too. I like my love. I love stuff. All right. Uh, and then you're obviously waiting for food right now. Uh-huh. Um, so, like, what, have you been, like, eating better, worse? What have you been eating a lot of? I, I've been – I've always been eating healthy. Sometimes I, I crave uh, outside food, though. And especially after after a hard workout, I, I just finish actually working out. I, I like to eat something with uh, a little bit more calories. Okay. So, um, I actually drove to Scarborough to get some shawarma. So I like it. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's the best spot for it. Um, and then uh, just obviously uh, uh, school finished up. Just, um, you know, tell us about uh, – this was your first year as a Ridgeback. I know you were at Ontario Tech before. Um, but just tell us uh, what it was like, uh, kind of your first year as a Ridgeback. Um, it was what I expected, if, if you understand what I mean. I've always wanted to play, but – Due to some circumstances, I wasn't able to, but it was um, it was what I expected, and uh, I'm glad that I I was finally be able to be a part of that because it's it's something I've been missing from my school experience and something that I've I've admired for a while, and I'm happy I'm finally a part of it, and I'm happy to be representing the school and making them proud. Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, uh, when you received your your uh, national award, uh, you got to represent uh, the province, the school obviously yourself and that that's obviously a pretty big deal so like yeah. like we said like you're the first men's soccer player to do that so that's very exciting i'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity the school has given to me and everything academically the support that i get from first year to third year the the professors the athletic directors everybody's been amazing and has made my experience i think the best in the world i'll be honest with you and i'm not i'm not just saying that well uh, it's been exciting watching you, obviously. Uh, um, we're looking forward to seeing you guys back in action uh, whenever we can, hopefully, obviously, this fall. That's, that's the plan. Um, I did see Matt Perevix questioning your food choices. He said two extra-large <laughs> pizzas and to ask you about that. But uh, I believe that uh, – I watched that training video of you and your dad, so I believe that you're not eating two pizzas because you would have been uh, keeled no. over. No, no way. He's he's lying. He's, don't believe him. Don't believe him. I love it. Uh, well, Fatty, uh, honestly, uh, congratulations. A fantastic year. Um, glad you could join. Um, and again, congratulations. Sorry, uh, I know it's your first year, so you didn't get to see what a banquet generally looks like. But um, I, I uh, sincerely hope uh, uh, you know you were able to kind of celebrate last night a little bit. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. All right. Well, stay safe, Fatty. Enjoy uh, enjoy your dinner and uh, keep working hard. Thanks. And I just want to uh, thank my teammates, too. Thank you guys for, for everything and for an amazing year. And next year, we're going we're gonna to win the championship. We're going all the way. I like it. We. I think I'm recording this, so uh, it's perfect, uh, perfect material. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to win it, man. We're going all the way next year. Perfect. Well, like I said, Fatty, stay safe, uh, enjoy your dinner, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. So I'm not sure if uh, Dr. Murphy's still on here. Uh, I'm going to see if he uh, wants to join in, uh, maybe has a few comments. Uh, I know his request was there from the beginning. Oh, we hey. have him. Dr. Murphy, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm staying safe. Good, good. I'm staying safe as well. Uh, can I just say, firstly, hats off to uh, 
to all of you um, in athletics for doing this. I know that it's tough to uh, to do the awards in this kind of a environment, and you guys have been doing such a fabulous job over the last few weeks, uh, not just obviously with these, but uh, uh, in letting all of our athletics teams know um, just how much we appreciate them and uh, the great seasons that they all had. Uh, I was incredibly proud of all of our teams. Um, and, you know, it's really important to salute them. And I know we all wanted to have the banquet and uh, to have the regular parties. So uh, anyway, I think you've done a hell of a job in uh, in pulling off what you can uh, online. And uh, it's been really fun to listen to uh, Fatty and Nicole tonight. Perfect. Uh, we'll be announcing, too, we're going to have our freshman athletes of the year tomorrow night uh, at 7 o'clock as well. So uh, we'll have Nicole from women's hockey and Grady from men's basketball. So. Um, yeah, I think like like you said, like you you're always at the games. Um, was there a moment this year, or I know you were at lacrosse, you're at the home opener for basketball. Was there a game or something like that that stood out to you? Uh, it's not games as much as moments, to be really honest. Where um, either you can see the team really coming back because they had a goal scored against them, or they had some adversity. I love those moments, um, kind of the timeout moments in, in basketball, but they happen in all sports where a coach is smart enough to get the, you know, get the squad together and start talking about um, how to regroup. Um, and, and those seem to happen all the time. So it just, it, it tells me that our, our, uh, our athletes are, are great character players. Uh, they never get too down. And even when they're up, they don't take it for granted. So um I have an immense amount of pride and fun in watching the games. They are truly the highlight of my week. Perfect. Yeah, it's uh, obviously they put in so much time. Uh, I know we talk about it all the time, like balancing school and, and athletics is tough, um, but somehow they do it. Um, so we always appreciate your support, obviously. Uh, couldn't do it without you. Um, so thanks for tuning in tonight, too. Happy to. It's it's always fun to take a look and, uh, and join you on the gram. I think this is my first live ever feet on the instagram so it's entirely your doing because i'm a I, I i don't know my way around i like it i'm glad i'm glad we can make history tonight then there we go <laughs> um like i said so tomorrow night we'll have uh the freshman athletes of the year nicola scano and grady kanku oh good um so we'll have them on at seven o'clock that's what they could do so we'll have them on for about 15 minutes each um so everybody that's paying attention including yourself uh feel free to tune in and, uh, yeah, we'll try and celebrate them as well. Cool. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, thanks uh, Dr. Murphy. Have a great night. Okay. All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I had a little bit of fun. Like I said, uh, uh, we'll be putting it out as well, the promo. Um, but tomorrow night, Nicole Escano and Grady Kanku uh, starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, thanks to uh, everybody for tuning in, Nicole and Fatty for joining us, and uh, everybody stay safe.